Here we are at O.Co Coliseum for this matchup between the Dolphins and the Raiders. When you look at this matchup, you've got to talk about the deep threats, the guys that can go long, and two of the best, speediest receivers in the game are going to be on the same field today. Yeah, it's going to be fun to see how they, both teams, the offenses, how do they get the football to these speedy wide receivers, and no matter what you do on the defensive side, you go, well, we're going to take them out of the game, we're going to double team them, really, how are you going to do that when they're in motion? We're always changing formations. Very tough to do now. You just got to rely on good tackling and try to prevent those short catches and long runs. And the tackle's made. The offense will start their drive from about the 31. Ohio! Ohio! The Dolphins come out in the nickel. First and 10. They give it to him on the counter. And out to about the 33. Well, I know it's a short run that time by the, by the offense, but it's what it's going to do for you long term. Keep running that football. Try to wear the defense down. Terrell Pryor will be under center. Second and seven. And they sack the quarterback. When it's third and long on the offensive side, you have very few choices on how to pick up a first down. Call one of them and see if you get lucky and see if it works. He'll fire it out to the left. Catch is made in on the stop. Hard to play man to man against such a quality wide receiver. He's fast, he's big. You got to mix up the coverage. You play straight man to man, you're going to give up a lot of completions. Let's go. There's Dennis Allen on the sideline for the Raiders. This is his second season now as the head man in Oakland. You always think you're ready to be a head coach in the NFL, and Dennis Allen was. But what you learn in that first year, you learn more as a head football coach in the NFL in your first year than a rookie football player does. So he's going to take what he learned. It's going to make him a better coach, Ohio, and it should Ohio, help the Oakland go. Raiders this year. Ohio, Ohio. Second down and 10. The throw to the left. And the throw, it's incomplete. I don't know what was more terrible. That was a terrible route. Terrible throw by the quarterback. Oh, and what a shock. It's incomplete. Flex round! Flex round! It'll be third down. Friars got it in the gun. He'll fire it out to the left. He had it, but the hit jars the ball loose. This defense you're playing against, they're pretty good. So it's fourth down near midfield. Punt the football. The defense comes out of the dime. He'll throw it over the middle. The Raiders get a first down. What was the defense doing that time on that fourth down try by the offense? The disorganized, not ready, and they give it up. The offense heads to the line for the seventh play of the drive. Good job by the defense. They stopped the offense that time on first down. Now the defense is in a good situation. This will be the eighth play of this drive. Second and 11, and he's forced to the ground. Well, the quarterback's got to see this blitz when it's coming. And if he checks to an audible to get rid of the football quicker or give himself extra protection, that will help him a lot. Makes the grab. He'll be brought down, but not before picking up the first down. It's third down and over 10 yards. You got to give your offensive line a lot of credit. They give the quarterback extra time, and he makes the throw down the field to pick up the first down. Caught. They've got him down there. I think the best thing to say about that play is just that he gained a few yards, so that's what you do. All plays don't score. Sometimes you just want to pick up a couple yards. Second down, three to go. He's looking to the right here on this throw. Ball's on the ground. The defense has the football. That brings the play to an end.
Ryan Tannehill will be under center. First and 10. Lamar Miller with the carry. And Tyvon Branch has the tackle. Excellent job of just picking up the first down. This offense is hot. Another first down, and they are moving down the field. New set of downs now after picking up the first on the ground. Back to the ground, and he's able to get out to the 34-yard line. Second down here. Looking for an open receiver on the right. And the tackle is made at the 35-yard line. Well, I guess the best thing to say there, Jim, is they completed the pass, but it still did not get a first down. Offense still looking for a first after that completion on second down. Incomplete! Brandon Fields called on now to punt it. He stacked up at that point. Well, if that's how you're going to return punch, you might as well just call for a fair catch every time because that was a terrible job. Terrell Pryor will be under center. Just a quick drop back on the money. And the tackle is made right around the 39-yard line. Well, it was a nice throw by the quarterback that time to, to get just enough yards to pick up the first down. First and 10, they hand it off to the running back. you got to keep your offensive lineman aggressive, so you have to run the football every once in a while. That run, even though it was a short game, it served a purpose. And it's Wake who's in the face of the quarterback. That's what all defensive coordinators love to see when they don't have to blitz and one of their defensive linemen gets a sack without any blitzing. Third and 17. Unbelievable grab. Jim, when you get in these situations, there's not much you can do. Third long, not easy to pick up first downs in these type of situations. Nick Badden's lined up behind his quarterback as the single back. You can't always go for it on fourth and short, but I like this call. They make it, the offense executes, and they pick up the first down. Darren McFadden lined up in the backfield, scrambling out of the pocket. Oakland, touchdown. Good job that time by the offense, scoring that touchdown and putting him ahead. And when you get ahead in a football game, the National Football League, it makes you relax and you play better. The Dolphins are back deep, waiting for the kick return. There's a flag out. The last thing you wanted to do here was kick it out of bounds. Ryan Tannehill will be under center. First and ten. Challenging the defenders to the right side. This is frustrating for a coach. You call a play, you get the receiver down the field on a quarter route, and your quarterback cannot put it on the target. It's now second down. The ball's deflected in complete. Good job by the linebacker that time. Saw the receiver coming in his area, read the quarterback, and in wonderful position to knock the pass down. Third down here, offense, trying to pick up the first. Trying to work that left side. The tackle's going to be made, but he's beyond the first down marker. Well, here's the cover four defense. Four defensive backs stopping the deep passes down the field, but nobody is there to stop the crossing routes. The Dolphins still possess the football as we begin the second quarter. Miller's lined up directly behind the quarterback here. It's Miller, left side. What a good job by the defensive player there, just flushing the running back and driving him into the ground. 
That second down coming up. And the give to Lamar Miller. And he's brought to the ground. What a job that time by the offensive line. That hole was so big, you could have drove a car through it. The running back hit it full speed, and that allowed him to get down the field and get that long run. First and ten. They feed him the ball again. Heading right. Well, I know it's not going to make a highlight film, but still a good solid run up in there for a couple yards. Coming up, second down. What a hit, and the ball falls incomplete. Well, they always say if you get your hands on the football, you got to make the catch. Yeah, right. The guy that made that rule up wasn't getting hit as he was trying to catch the football. Nice hit that time by the defender. And Matthews is lined up now as a slot receiver. That reception picks up the first down. Oh, we got us a nice drive going here, Jim. Another first down. They are just making one solid play after another and just marching down the field. First down here after the completion. Miller's taking the handoff. Going to lose yards here. Good job by the defense. They stopped the first down play that time by the offense, and now they have a good situation. Second down following the run. Tannehill from the gun. Challenges the coverage and has the completion. Always a good job to pick up some yards when you're in the red zone. Nice throw by the quarterback, and he gets the completion. This has been a long drive so far. Miller's handed the football. Good job by the offense, getting another first down. You can tell by looking down on the field, the defense hands on their knees they are getting tired mounting a serious drive so first end goal to go this team likes to throw the football in the end zone once they get inside the red zone this is a nice change up they fool them well they thought they were going to fool them with the run but it only gets a short game and we've reached the two minute warning in this one The long drive continues. Second and goal from the three. Scores the touchdown. Well, here we are. It's a tie game now. We'll see how the teams react to it. Will it be positive or negative? The Dolphins now will tack on the extra point. There's a flag right there. The PAT sails wide here. Defense. Defense was trying to guess the snap count, and it cost them there. The Dolphins with a PAT to tie the contest. The point after is good. Dolphins set to kick it. Terrell Pryor will be under center. First and ten. Gets away from the pressure. And incomplete. This drives coach is crazy. They get a wide receiver open down the field on a post route. And what happens? The quarterback just overthrows him. Batten's lined up now as the running back behind the quarterback. 
Second down and 10. Screen pass. He has the grab. And they bring it down at the 36-yard line. Nice job by the quarterback. Nobody open down the field. He throws it short. It does not get a first down, but it sure makes third down a lot easier. Third and two. And he's going to pitch it here. Tackle down right around the 47. If Garrett McFadden can just stay healthy one year from start to finish, he would have a chance to gain 2,000 yards. That's right, I said it, 2,000 yards. I think he's that good. Nice job that time picking up big yards. Ohio, Ohio, Ohio. First down here after the run. Throws to the right. The Raiders now move the chains. What a nice catch by the receiver. Getting past the yard markers, makes the catch and gets the first down. The offense is set at the line for the first down after that completion. Looking across the middle, good yardage picked up on that call. When you have an offense like this that just keeps getting first downs, not only are they moving in scoring position, but they're giving their defense a lot of rest. They're back at the line after that catch for a first down. Gains 12. Nothing fancy about that, but it's a good run. Gets a first down. Now the offense has three more chances. They're able to move the chains after that last run. They go up the middle. When you're a defensive tackle in the NFL, I'll tell you one thing it means. It means you are one big dude. And that big dude that time didn't move and tackled the running back for no gain. Knocked down. When you see this cover two defense as a quarterback, you got to know where to throw the football. That time he did not make a good decision. You got to throw it sometimes deep down the middle. The safeties are not there. They're outside. He did not take advantage of that coverage that time. Failing to connect there, third down. Now slashing to the right side, breaks the plane, touchdown. Well, that's really having deep belief in your offensive line. And then third and goal, your offensive line just road grades the defense out there and they get the touchdown running the football. The Raiders with an extra point try on the way. Extra point is good. Sebastian Janikowski lining up for the kickoff. And he begins his return. A ton of defensive backs out here for this play. First down and 10. Looking to the right side and throwing. That catch will extend the drive. That time the pass is completed into double coverage, Jim, but the quarterback made a bad read. But these receivers, they are so good nowadays. That time in double coverage, he went up and made the catch. It's like Bill Parcell said to me once about Mark Bavaro, a very talented receiver. He goes, remember, Sims, when he's covered, he's open. And the quarterback is taken down. And Matthews is a receiver in the slot. Airing it out. Woodson with the interception. They bring him to the turf. 
So that's going to do it for the first half. Raiders are up in this one. We're back here now in this one, where the Raiders are leading by seven. Let's check in now with Danielle Bellini from the sidelines. I got a chance to quickly speak with Terrell Pryor during halftime. So far, his team is out in front, and he told me the important thing now is playing smart. If they can control play and just avoid costly mistakes, they'll be in good shape in the second half. That's all from down here, guys. Back to you. Thanks, Danielle. And now we'll go to the field. First down on the way. Second half gets rolling now as he takes the snap. After the incomplete pass, it brings up second down. When you're behind in the football game, all you can do on the offensive side is just go out there and thinking about making plays and picking up first downs, good job by the offense. That reception gave them the first down. Looking for a receiver on the left side here. And tackle down at the 43-yard line. Nice catch by the receiver, but it still doesn't get a first down. Offense lines up here. Ryan Tannehill will take it from the gun. They're going to get him this time. Outside linebackers in the NFL, they are such tremendous athletes. They can do everything. How about that play that time? Good move, good speed. Gets to the quarterback and gets a sack. Defense comes to the line, ready to pounce on that quarterback one more time. Can they get another sack right here? Defensive coordinators love this situation, don't they? Third and long, they can do just about anything, and it's going to work, and they stop the offense that time. And Matthews is going to get set in the slot for this snap. Looking long to Mike Wallace. Holds it in. What a call and what a catch. Uh, I can't give all the uh, credit to the offense here. They go for it on fourth down here in the second half. Even though they're losing, the defense should have known that that play was coming and they should have stopped it. Let's see what they do on first down following that huge play. Out of the eye, they give it to the tailback. So many things you could do on first down, and what do you come up? You come up with that play. That was just a bad play call. The offense heads to the line for the seventh play of the drive. Spinning out of trouble. Good play call that time by the offensive coordinator. Down inside, when you're inside the 20-yard line or the red zone, find ways to complete the pass. They did that time. This will be the eighth play of this drive. And complete. That's a gain of six. Nice throw that time by the quarterback in the red zone. Gets a completion. And there's some tight spots. Not a lot of room. So you got to really drive the football in there. They've got a first down now after that catch. They give it to the running back. Runs it across. Touchdown. I would bet first and goal that the offense, about 90% of the time, is going to run the football. And what do they do here? They run it, and they get it done. That is power football at its best. Running into the kicker. Over eager trying to block that kick and it'll cost them. The Raiders ready to return the kickoff. A foot race to the end zone. There is nothing like a good return when you talk about special teams. Good blocking. The speed of the returner gets down the field, and after that tackle, now they have good starting field position. It's first down as they head to the line. He's looking to the right here on this throw. 
breaks free, has some space to work with. You can't play zone coverage against this quarterback. He knows it's zone, and he's going to find the open throwing lane, and he gets it done. First down here after the completion. Looks to his left. He makes the catch. He's brought down. Well, they complete the pass, Jim, but doesn't get the first down. Sooner or later, you got to throw one down the field. Second down, even after the completion. From the shotgun. Getting away from the pressure. Looking for an open receiver on the right. Here comes the training staff as we've got a player down on the field. By the looks of that, you can tell it looks like a major injury and uh, it's just it's a tough sport, a lot of big hits, and uh, I hope he's gonna be okay. First and ten. Throwing now to his left. That'll stop the play right there. Always a good job to pick up some yards when you're in the red zone. Nice throw by the quarterback, and he gets the completion. And now they'll try over again on second down. Force it across for the touchdown. Well, when your offense goes out there and scores a touchdown to put you ahead, it's got to give a big lift to the defense. they got to get excited and go out there and hold that lead. The Raiders for the point after. Oh, it's a fake. How much does this sting? They get the touchdown, but Phil, they fail to get the two. Jim, I think it takes a lot away from the football team. It was a terrible decision. Now we'll find out if that one point comes back to Harlem. Just across the 20 and tackled at the 21. The quarterback is coming to the line, hoping to avoid being sacked for a third time. First and ten. Looking long to Mike Wallace. What a catch down the middle of the field. Anytime your team is down, you're inside the other team's red zone, you look for one of your star players, your quarterback, wide receiver, or running back. They need to make a big play here. The offense is set at the line for the first down after that completion. Lamar Miller with the carry. Good piece of tackling. Hard to score a touchdown sometimes when you get in the red zone in the NFL. Why? Because the defense doesn't have to worry about passes down the field. The offense runs it. They are ready to get it done, and they do, and stop the offense for a short game. Ryan Tannehill will be under center. Second and eight. Can't hold on. All you have to do is watch the head of the receiver. When they drop footballs, usually it's because you can see their head move the other way before the football gets there. That's what happened this time, and it's a drop pass. Hart lines in the slot. Challenging. And he's intercepted. You've got to stay aggressive on the defensive side. That time the defense did. Even though the offense is going in to score, they finally, they come up with the big play and they get the interception inside their own 20-yard line. First down here. here we go. Working that left side. That ball is going the other way. When you get an opportunity like this, you want to take advantage of it. The defense did. The opportunity was there. They get a chance to intercept the football. They do. Can their offense take advantage of this situation? One more snap and another quarter is in the books. Three-step drop. Makes the grab tackled at the 20. 15 minutes to go. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Second down coming up. Final quarter underway now with this snap. Terrible call that time by the coach. The defense was expecting run. 
they were up there. They were aggressive. Crowd the line of scrimmage. And you just you just played right into their hands, and they got the tackle for the loss. Still five yards short of the first after the run. Third down coming up. Hauls it in for the first down. There has been good pass protection for the quarterback all day long. He has not been sacked much, and he throws it there and gets another completion. They're back at the line after that catch for a first down. Miller's going to take the handoff now. Second down after going to the ground game, the first play. Dropping back three, eyeing that left side. And intercepted! Wonderful job by the defense that time. They stayed after it. And inside their own 20, they finally come up with the play. They get the interception, and they keep the other team from getting points on the board. And Holmes is lined up in the slot. Pryor standing back in the shotgun, ready for the snap. In trouble now. He's in the clear. And the quarterback will bail out on this play and slide feet first. Keep the momentum on your side. You got a lead here in the second half. Nice play that time. You pick up the first down. Let's see if you can take advantage of it. First and ten. And the give to Darren McFadden. Gain of eight. What that run does, it just puts the offense in a good situation. So a good, positive run. Butler's lined up now as a slot receiver. Middle. And they advance the ball onto the other side of the field. Darren McFadden, when he is healthy, he has shown that he can be an NFL elite running back. That time, nice job. Shows that speed and has great size to break tackles. First and 10. And he's thrown to the ground. When you're the quarterback and you see a blitz, you got to know you got to drop back, look at a receiver, and let it go. No hesitation he is allowed. He hesitates, and the defense gets the sack. Throws to the right. Makes the catch. Tackle down at the 47. Good job that time by the quarterback. Throw the short pass, even though it doesn't result in a first down. Now on third and short, all of your passes are in play instead of just the third long where you only have like three or four plays you can go to. Third and 14. He'll fire it out to the left. Now they take the football onto the opponent's side of the field. Jim, when you get in these situations, there's not much you can do. Third long, not easy to pick up first downs in these type of situations. Pryor's going to take it from the gun. They fail to convert, and now a change of possession. Terrible game management that time by the coach. It's three downs, it's four down. What should you do? Well, I think you should punt it. He goes for it and puts his defense in a tough position. Time that this one's running out, and the defense knows it needs another stop. Now first and ten. Looking to the right side and throwing. Tannehill on target and finds Mike Wallace with the completion. This is kind of new to the NFL the last four or five years. We're seeing more and more screens to wide receivers. Good timing, good execution, and good yards picked up. Two minutes, two minutes remaining in the game. Just about two minutes to go, and the defense knows it needs to make one last stop to end it. Every quarterback in the NFL loves this coverage where you got four defensive backs all playing deep. So in routes, anything across the middle, usually it's wide open. Good job of the quarterback taking advantage of the defense that time. He's looking to the right here on this throw. This is turning into quite a drive, Phil. Uh, nice job, Jim, by the offensive coordinator just mixing the plays up and keeping the defense off balance. That reception gave them the first down. 
It's Miller running right through the trenches. Now the play is there to be made, but the offensive player doesn't get it done. Bad job on first down. Second down. Tannehill from the gun. The throw to the left. Pass is made, and it's incomplete. The hit jars the ball out. Now, looking at third down, Tannehill's back in shotgun formation. And that ball's nearly picked off, but he dropped it. Defensive coordinators love this situation, don't they? Third and long, they can do just about anything, and it's going to work, and they stop the offense that time. The quarterback is coming to the line, hoping to avoid being sacked for a third time. And they'll turn it over on downs. The defense does a fantastic job holding strong. First down, the give to the running back. He's into the open, spins out of the defender's clutches. Well, when you're on the defensive side, if you read the offensive formation, where do they have the most numbers at? And that's usually where they're going to run the football. That time the offense goes to the strong side, gets outside, you should have an extra defender there waiting for him. Terrible job by the defense. Lined up in the pistol formation. First and ten, Darren McFadden will run with it. Middle, and he's tackled at the 34-yard line. Well, even though they have a lead here, it's late in the fourth quarter, you still got to be unpredictable. Keep the defense on edge. As I always say, make the defense react and not attack. So make them guess what plays you're going to run. There it is. The game has come to an end. It was a good one throughout. Hotly contested right down to the wire. Is every win sweet or are they